5 second star may i madam draw the attention of the honorable minister to an important committee set up by the government of india in 1998 under the chairmanship of mr nigoy who was asked to inquire into the various problems of railway road coordination their preliminary report appeared some time ago and it was even circulated to all the state government for their opinion but to my regret i have to say that the work of this committee has been very much hindered as a result of the indifference and may i say callous negligence on the part of the state government as well as on the part of the ministry concerned in taking up this question and in pursuing it so that we may be able to have a clear and comprehensive picture of the transport situation in the country now railway transport like any other mode of transport is suffering under a major handicap the handicap being that we do not know nor does the railway ministry know what the exact quantum of transport requirement in the country is and what the rising demand is which the railway are expected to cater to in future the certain targets which have been worked out in the 10th plan have been given to us in the 9th plan we were given certain targets but unfortunately madam may i point out that all those targets were either goes underestimates or ex aggregations throughout we have seen that we have not been able to have a well coordinated and progressive development of the transport system and in particular the railway system in the country so anything we suggest today will have that kind of air of unreality without knowing fully or adequately what exactly the transport needs in the country are we are not in a position to discuss or dilate upon the problems of the railways or the transport itself madam last year when i was speaking on the budget i pointed out that there had been planning of some sort but within this planning there had not been sufficient planning in the functioning of the administration there has not been planning in carrying out the various phases of the program enunciated in the plan or in the budget frequently we come across the statement by the honorable minister that the railway have not been able 
to fulfill certain things. I went through the pages of the budget paper and also the speech of the minister. I came across this significant expression. Wherever there are failures or shortfall in performance, we are told that these are mainly due to unpredictable factors or factors beyond control. I do not think that some of the factors which my honorable friends would like us to believe that they are unpredictable or uncontrollable cannot be anticipated. For instance, I may draw the attention of the Honorable Minister to one important fact that is we have been supplying since some time past empty haulage for a long distance to collieries, to steel factories and so on. We are told that this empty haulage is unavoidable, that we have find empty wagons to steel factories and collieries to carry raw material or perhaps coal and like the like. So for a long distance we find wagons am going empty but if there had been a research cell, an organization in the ministry to find out ways and means of utilizing these wagons fruitfully by avoiding bottlenecks. In between we could have solved the transport difficulty to a certain extent. I do not want to told by the minister that this is a physical impossibility. Even in advanced countries of the world, their every movement of wagon, coach and engine is planned before it is put into operation. It is unfortunate and tragic that in this country after a decade of planning we have not been able to think in terms of planning while executing the works. Now in regard to some of the general problems of the railways I would say first of all that the rise in demand is so great that we have to be prepared to provide not only adequate but also effective transport facilities to our people. I need not tell the house that the railway transport system in general is greatly dependent or interdependent on the general economy of the country. But during the last one decade there has been one significant factor that has to be appreciated that is the demand for transport in increasing at a faster rate than the rise in the national income or the rise in production in any sector or in any industry. This is a factor that has not been adequately appreciated even if 
it has been adequately appreciated no attempts or sincere efforts has yet been made to carry out the fulfillment of the needs of all the sectors of our economy full stop